Today I am cleaning out my dirty cluttered minivan. I haven't given it a thorough cleaning since before winter and it's still cold here but I can't wait until spring to clean it out. I'm putting on my winter parka and doing a full detail cleaning on my car this afternoon. There is stuff littered everywhere, dust has accumulated and is obstructing my views on my dash. There's a goldfish and snack crumb graveyard on my floor and in the car seats, mystery goo in the cup holders and yeah. I think we can all agree it's gone too far. And I haven't even showed you what's going on in the third row slash trunk yet. I have a ton of stuff that I need to take to the Goodwill. I always stick stuff to donate in the back and it sits there for a week, if not more. So note, I just took the time and donated it. Let's get started. Let's start with cleaning out the clutter. I'm starting off by clearing out my car completely. That includes removing all three of my boys' car seats so that I can clean their car seats and clean underneath their car seats thoroughly. Oh, this one I've really got to clean the cup holder bad. I'm removing the soft covers on their car seats so that I can throw it in the washing machine, completely refresh them anew, and then I'm also going to be spraying out the plastic shell of their car seats later on because you'll see, it, it desperately needs it. As I clear everything out, I have two separate trash bags with me. One is for trash, of course, and the other is for everything I want to keep, but still it needs to come out of the car in order for me to clean the car thoroughly. I keep lots of masks in here so that I know that I'll never run out. Oh gosh, there's so much crap in here. If you're Asian, <laughs> consider getting these if you have Asian flush. Goodwill ended up not taking some of the toys that I had to donate to them. I guess they just had an overflow of toys after the holidays. And yes, that was holiday wrapping paper that I took out of my trunk. It was on super duper clearance, so I bought it in order to use it for next year. So here's where we are right now. Everything is cleared out of the car, but now is the real hard part, the actual deep cleaning that is so desperately needed. Now, one, one good thing that I did with this car is I got these all-weather floor mats. So it makes cleaning it a little bit easier because I can take these out, spray them off, let them dry, and then put them back. And the actual carpet underneath is not nearly as hard to clean as a result. So let's take these out. I don't know if you can tell, but they're pretty dirty. Like there's gunk hidden. Can you see that? Tons of gunk in these little crevices. Just little piece of food rotting that I would never get if I didn't like fully spray it out. And so I'm gonna spray them down. Normally with these all weather floor mats, when you don't let your car just go way too far over the edge, you can just power spray them off and then let them air dry and you're good to go. But mine are kind of sticky and extra dirty. So I have this little scrub brush that I have filled with regular dish soap and I'm using that to get the really, really sticky bad areas taken care of. And this one, for example, even with the scrubber, there's a section, I don't know, it's gum or something stuck in the crack. So I have this little baby knife that I am using to get that taken out. Now for the car seats, I'm doing the same thing, wetting them down. I'm gonna use the little baby knife again to just get all the sticky stuff out of the cup holders, scrub them down with a little soap, and then wash them clean. And the most important part is using the power wash function to just get into those little cracks and really just force out all the crumbs and food that have accumulated just in the abyss.
As everything I washed out air dries, I'm going to start wiping down every surface in my car. I'm using Meguiar's Interior Detail Cleaner. I picked this up at Target. I chose it because it specifically stated that it essentially works on every type of surface in a car. It works on plastics, vinyl, leather, rubber, metal, even LCD and navigation screens. So it's the perfect all-purpose car cleaner, just a one-stop shop, and so that's why I chose it. Now for the back seat. I'm just brushing all the crumbs down because I'll be vacuuming next. I used to have covers that went over the seats of my minivan to protect the leather from the car seats that as you can see have clearly just damaged the leather on my car. But once my boys were all front facing, for some reason I could not get their car seats to tightly secure over the cover for some reason and the seats would always just move a little bit too much for my comfort and the safety of my kids is obviously worth more than my minivan so I just took off the covers. We're getting there y'all, let's start vacuuming. A couple months ago I got a new cordless shark vacuum. I'll have the exact model linked below but I've been loving it in my kitchen. You can remove the bottom vacuum attachment and just have this smaller hand vac that works really well in your car. My only complaint about it is anytime I bring out my vacuum, I generally need it to be heavy duty. And this shark vac operates on two modes. It has an eco mode and a power mode. It automatically starts on eco and to get it into full power mode, you have to hold a little trigger it's not a big deal for the most part, but on heavy cleanings like this where I'm using it for an extended period of time, it would be nice to just have a button that keeps it on the power boost mode and not have to hold the trigger the entire time. I don't know what transpired for this to break, but it is broken now, so I got some super glue from the Dollar Tree so I can mend it myself. I did take it to the dealership to see how much it would cost to replace it, and they advised me it was $400, which I don't have $400 for a sun visor, so the super glue will have to do. I'm locking back in the all-weather floor mats after the carpeting is clean. I realize it's not as aesthetically pleasing as the fresh, perfect carpet, but remember, the carpet is perfect because the all-weather floor mats protect it, so it is a necessary item to have in my car. Now I am vacuuming out the trunk. I'm using the vacuum that is built into my minivan. I love it. It is a high-quality shop vac and it extends super long, so it can reach the very front seat. For an extreme clean though, it is easier using a cordless hand vac, but I still love the feature, especially because I didn't have my current cordless hand vac until recently.
forgot to wipe down the back, so I am kicking off my boots so that they don't get my freshly vacuumed carpet dirty. Here is a quick little reminder of where we started off in this car, but I am so excited because we are all done and here we are now. We got the third row folded down so we have so much space in the trunk we can easily fit our double stroller groceries or more bags that need to go to the Goodwill. Moving up to where the kids sit, this is definitely the cleanest it has been since a child has stepped foot in this car. I really want to find good car seat protector covers. I'm going to film a car organization video and I will share that in that video if I find a good one. Then moving up to the very front, we have the Queen's Throne, sparkling like a little jewel. <laughs> I hope this shorter clean with me video still provided a good amount of motivation to get you going for the week. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my other cleaning, decluttering, organizing videos. I'll have the playlist floating over the screen and I will see you in the next video. Bye.